looking at a home without fully seeing it. It's The Real Estate Show. Welcome to The Real Estate Show. My name's Rick Naples, owner broker of Zone Realty LLC. I'm wearing a silly patch over my eye. Looks kind of dumb, doesn't it? Well, what I wanted to talk about on this show is the importance of a home inspection. You need to look at a home thoroughly when you're going to purchase it. Now, of course, you're going to make an offer on the home of your choice. The offer gets accepted by the seller. You now want to spend some serious time in that home, going through it from top to bottom. You want to check out what you're actually buying. You need to know that all of the home works, that all the codes are met, and so on and so forth. And the best way to do that is to have a home inspection done. Home inspectors are trained, licensed individuals that keep up with all the present codes and rules and regulations and so on and so forth about the operations and the construction of homes. You know, you don't want to go making the largest purchase in your lifetime without actually knowing what it is that you're buying. So I can't stress enough having a home inspection done. And with all due respect for anybody that's out there that's vision impaired, I'm putting this patch over my eye just to demonstrate the idea is you don't want to go into the largest purchase of your lifetime looking at it with only one eye. Let's take a look at this presentation. I'll be back in a moment to talk a little bit more about home inspections.
why have the home inspection done? I mean, what's the need? You have an uncle, you have a father, you have a sister, a brother, a friend, someone like that. They're in the construction business. Uh, maybe they're a licensed plumber or electrician. Uh, maybe they've built whole houses before. Maybe they're really good with a hammer. Whatever the reason might be, that's all well and great. But they're not licensed home inspectors. They haven't been trained and they're not required to keep up with all the different things that are involved in a house. They may be great for opinions or second opinions or ideas or things along those lines, but again, they're not a home inspector. A home inspection is gonna make sure that you know exactly what it is that you are buying. And that's really important. As I've said before, this is the largest purchase you're going to make and you wanna make sure that you know exactly what you're getting into. I mean, after all, when you go look for a car, do you buy the car without a test drive? Do you buy a car without knowing about its mechanics? It's the same thing with a house, folks. The home inspection is your opportunity to actually go to the house and not spend 15, 20 minutes looking at it. It's a good time to spend two hours or three hours in the home with a professional that's going to show you all the different aspects of the home. And when I talk about all the different aspects, I mean home inspectors really go through that house from top to bottom and provide you with a printed report on all the different things that they find, as well as discussing with you the different aspects as they go through the house with you. You see, you need to be there for that inspection and you need to be side by side with that inspector so you know exactly what they're pointing out and exactly what they're talking about. Let's take a look at this presentation. I'll be back to talk a little bit more about home inspections. For those of you that might just be tuning in, I made this silly patch to put over my eye just to demonstrate the idea or the um, philosophy or the theory of always having a second pair of eyes on something that you're going to do major. You know, they tell you a lot of times when you create something, you write a book, you, you uh, write a contract, or you're going to enter into an agreement of, of some sort. Sometimes it's a great idea to have somebody look at it, somebody else look at it besides you, just to make sure that you understand what's going on and you're not missing anything in that whatever it might be. It's the same thing with a house, folks. When you're purchasing a home, you want to make sure you know exactly what you're buying. You've just come up with money for a down payment. 
You've got closing costs that are ahead of you. You're putting everything that you possibly have into purchasing that home. You don't need to be surprised the first year or so you're in that home with a huge expense. So you want to make sure you know what it is that you're getting into. Now, home inspectors, there's many reputable firms out there. You can search on the internet, read the reviews, and so on and so forth. And even your local realtor, the one that you're working with as your buyer representative, they're going to recommend, they may give you two or three different names of inspectors that they've used in the past. The inspector is going to meet you at the home. They're going to go in, and they're going to go through each and every single system in the home. The mechanics, the structural features of the home, the roof, the furnace, the water. They'll even check all the appliances for you. And each and every single thing that they go through, they're going to have a discussion with you about what it is they're finding. And of course, they'll put their finding in writing. Now, this is important for two reasons. Number one, it gives you the opportunity to talk to a professional inspector about the home you're about to purchase. But it also, too, brings up any issues there might be that you may want to go back to the negotiation table with uh, to the seller as far as maybe having them fix or address something before you actually close on the property. Now, this is key because there are certain items that a seller may be willing to negotiate on and do for you. And, of course, there are items that a seller may say no. What do you do if they say no? How do you solve the problem? What if the home inspection shows there's a major situation with the home? Should you back out of the deal? Can you back out of the deal? What's your risk? Let's take a look at this quick little presentation. I'll be back to discuss a little bit more about that. So you have your home inspection done and you find there are some issues. Well, this is where you can go back to the table and negotiate with your seller as far as having some of those issues addressed. Your realtor will sit with you and go through the inspection report once it's been finalized. And they, because of their experience, can tell you what items may be the items that you should ask the seller to do and what items might be items that you want to pay attention to once you get the house and you're living there for a while. For instance, you may not get a seller to do huge items. If it's a huge expense, the seller may not want to do it. Could be the reason why they're selling the house, who knows? But it may also be a reason for you to back out of the deal. You see, one of the ways you can break your purchase contract is if you do a home inspection and that home inspection comes back unsatisfactory. There are items that are a real concern, and for one reason or another, you're not able to negotiate with the seller to something that's agreeable between you both. And that could be either the seller fixing something, or having something fixed before closing, or even reducing the price of the house or offering some kind of a credit to allow you to take care of that once you move into the house. So I can't stress enough how important it is to do a home inspection. 
But what happens if you decide to save a few bucks and not do a home inspection? And now you close on the home and you move in and you discover a major issue that wasn't disclosed. Let me talk about that when we come back. Again, my apologies to anyone that's vision impaired out there. I made this silly little patch and put it over my eye because I'm talking about looking at a home with a home inspector, going into that major purchase with both eyes wide open. And again, my apologies to anyone that's seeing uh, impaired. The home inspector, as I said, will go through the house from top to bottom. Now, let's say for one reason or another, you decide not to have the house inspected. It's a brand new house, just been constructed. Uh, the house looks wonderful, great when you've gone through it. You don't see any problems with it. Maybe when you were in the house during your initial showing, you tried a couple of faucets and turned a couple of knobs on and so on and so forth. And everything looks great. Well, here's my warning to you, folks. That's up to you. But again, I can't stress how important it is to have a home inspection. You know, things can look really, really great and wonderful on the outside, but what's underneath? What's behind all that wonderful, nice looking? You know, don't be impressed because it's all nice and shiny and new. Even brand new constructed properties should have a professional home inspection done. And this is just to make sure that the builder has done everything correctly and to specs for the requirements of the town, the area, and the size of the home that's being built. You're looking to buy a home that you're going to live in. The home inspector has gone through hundreds of homes and knows what to look for that could be potential problems. So it's a win-win situation. You don't want to close on your home and then be living there and then discover an issue that wasn't disclosed to you in the property disclosure or you didn't know because you didn't have the home home inspected. As I said, you've already spent a lot of money getting into the home. You don't need those big first year expenses to happen to you right away. Let's take a quick look at this little presentation and I'll be back with the part of the show I call the real estate mailbag.
This is the part of the real estate show I call the real estate mailbag. My opportunity to address emails that are sent here to the real estate show. And today I'm talking about, I'm emphasizing, I'm stressing the fact that you need to have a home inspection done when you're looking to make one of the largest purchases of your lifetime, and that's a house. I get a lot of inquiries about the what-if scenarios. What if a home inspection is done and they find this? What if an inspection is done and this is found? What if I don't have an inspection done? Can I still break a contract? And so on and so forth. It depends on the specific situation. But again, folks, I put this silly patch over my eye to just kind of make a point. You don't want to go into the largest purchase you may make in your lifetime without keeping your eyes clearly open as to what you are actually purchasing. My name is Rick Naples, and this has been The Real Estate Show. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.